Gravity Live, I'm your host Scott Goldbaum, and this week, guys, I can't tell you how many people and how many guitars are in this room There's right like now. There's like 35,000 people in this room it's right just, now. It's just, yeah, you, you think it's yeah. tinier, but in all reality, it's, uh, it's, it's huge. And today we actually have a pretty huge episode because we're giving you a Fender Play look at the new Vintera guitars. We're going to be demoing a bunch of the new models and help you figure out whether your style is vintage or modern. we got a special guest coming up later as well, so stick around, but first, Please welcome the great and powerful John Dreyer. Hey. He's here in the flesh, guys. Hey. The Dreyer Report. Thank now, many of you much. guys must recognize this guy. I mean, you've been with us first. They don't have to recognize me. If, yeah. if you they if must. you don't recognize yeah. him, that yeah. voice is indistinguishable. But that goes to say, you've been with us for uh, just over two decades. You're coming um, up on your I'm 21st coming anniversary. Coming up on 21 years. Kind wow. of done everything here, man. I've done everything. I've seen everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you have, I have massive. Hand I have some play. secrets. I yeah. Have okay. Secrets good. About time. <laughs> well, it's crazy. We'll go to Nam together, and yeah. you, it's, you're just kind of like the wizard. Everybody kind of assumes you have the magic wand of answers for everything that uh, anybody I, needs. I have a wand and a hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Wear the hat next time, man. I will. I will. That all goes to say, um, you may recognize him from all the demos we've been doing, especially for the Ventera series, yeah. of which there are so many models. We're really excited to talk about uh, the reason why we have so many guitars in this room right now. So what can you tell us about the Ventera series? Well, I can tell you a lot. You can also, if you haven't seen them, we have a lot of videos that are up on our YouTube channel on yeah. the Ventera product pages to get more in depth on specs. Uh, but basically, you know, the, the Ventera series, for those that don't know, is taking the place of our classic, classic series kit. line. So um, vintage specs, 50s, 60s, 70s, Strats, Tellys, Jazzmasters, Jaguars, Mustang basses and guitars. and. Wow. P bass is jazz bass. So the something full, full line. Something for everybody. Something for everybody. Yeah, so yeah. essentially, you know, all the cool classic colors for the player who d likes that vintage vibe feel, the curves, the colors. Right. Um, you know, the vintage specs, uh, you know, vintage smaller fret, more rounded radius. Uh, it, it's all there. But we also include modified versions of some of the models, Strats and Tellys and Jazzmasters and Jaguars. Uh, for the mo more modern player, right? For those that like yep. a flatter radius, right? Maybe uh, upgrades you might do to your guitar, like a, a hotter pickups. Right. Yeah, you're gonna see some um, more yeah. output gain on the modified that you're gonna right. be playing yes. today. I'll cover all the vintage yeah. stuff. Um, but yeah, larger frets on the modified uh, flatter radius, so you can do all those crazy bends, um, and then some some hidden. Stealth features as well. Yeah, we can kind of ways, A and B yeah. some of that kind of contrast. Sure. Because you see this, I've got, I've been talking. I took this guitar home over the weekend, and it's just this thick U-shaped yeah. neck that kind of summons a certain yeah. style of playing yeah. that I can't get enough of. It's yeah, chunky neck on the '50s guitars, and then '60s. You know, a little little smaller on the '60s, right, but right. but to our you know to vintage specs as as close Absolutely. as possible. These guitars are close closest to. The vintage specs that we that we've ever been, um, the windings on the pickups so true to the oh, vintage wow. 50s 60s era pickups, um, the same contours and radius and, and all that good stuff. Well, but they sound you, great. They look wonderful. Yeah. And let me. Well, I just want to kind of yeah, make sure. a quick distinction between you. You've got the tried and true mm -hmm. three way selector switch right, right. here on this guy. I love what they did with the. The neck pickup, you know, especially for yeah. versatility, and obviously everybody loves what's going on with the bridge over here. But what is so cool about the modified? Uh, you were showing me this a little bit earlier. Yeah. So on the modified version, so three-way, right? On right, the on the yeah. tip on the vintage or typical uh, yeah, telly. Yeah, of course. Uh, this model actually has four selections, four four-way switcher here. So first position is the bridge pickup alone. <laughs> Standard setup there. The second position is are both pickups in uh, parallel, the traditional tele setups. You get both pickups. That... And then we have third position is the neck. I might add custom shot pickups in this model, oh, wow. a hotter bridge pickup, and a twisted tele in the neck, which is very strat like. So again, uh, now First in the. Yeah, That's cool. Exactly. Man. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the last position, four, again, both pickups, but now in series. So a little bit fuller sounding, right? Little, yeah. Not as much uh, quack there. Yeah, 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 but yeah, But the right. cool thing now with the S1 switch, right? So here's your in-between sound. All of a sudden, uh, right? That kind yeah, of quacky, yeah, yeah. out of phase, uh, Roy Buchanan kind of sound. Oh, man, uh, that's so cool. 
some surf yeah. rock, just some yeah. high pass. But yeah, a lot of different wow, tones. So easy. That's so cool. Yeah, a lot of different tones available in this one. Uh, Again, there's there's the 50s, the 60s, 70s. Yeah, and we should just make it clear. Yeah. Right now, we've got the 50s decade in our hands, mm -hmm. and they sound great. We've been able to give you guys a little bit of a, an insight into what the different pickups are sounding like. I can't get over as as a as, I feel like a 50s purist when I hold this guitar because I love everything you're showing, but I can't get enough of this. Yeah. How about we switch it up and check out the 60s strats? Uh, just on the 50s, 50s strats. Oh, okay. We're stay in the 50s. Okay, cool. So let's live in the 50s. We're stay in this yeah. decade, but we'll switch it over to the strats. There we go. Here, okay, so for starters, there's our tellies. What do you got with you right there? A little sunburst? I have a modified. sunburst 50s Stratocaster modified. Um, you want me to talk a little bit about the features on this one? Yeah. So, so your traditional do. setup here, uh, a classic Fender color, Seafoam yeah. Green. Sounds wonderful. Yeah, right yeah, neck yeah. is not as, not as big as the telly was. No, but. no, it's still got that width. Yeah. It's just not as chunky. So I have the traditional five way, right? So this has an S1 switch as well, but oh, okay. I can leave that alone and have all five position standard strap pickups. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Uh, bridge, bridge neck, I'm sorry, bridge and middle, uh, middle, middle neck, and then neck. But now with a telly, like we were just playing, the cool thing with that in that middle position, you can get the neck and bridge pickup for that kind of cool telly sound. Totally. Can't really do it on a strap. Right. Until now. <laughs> you can actually. Hit the S1 switch in. So now I have bridge, right? This is bridge alone. Cool. So now S1 switch in, that activates the neck pickups. Now I have the bridge and the neck, and I can get that telly. Oh, wow. Yeah, I wonder how well you guys can hear the tonal difference through the screen, but that's substantial. That. Yeah, but it's that, you know. Yeah, I get that low in there. them played together too. The strats from the same decade. I'm yeah. repping the vintage. You've got the modified. Yeah, it feels great. You know, it, 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 there's there's a lot of different features around the series. So some of them have the the uh, the, the more um, classic um, uh, what do you call it? like like a uh, poly coat on the back of the yeah, neck, yeah. so the shiny glossy neck. Uh, some have a satin finish like this one, so your hands won't stick to it. Oh, that's cool. Which is really nice. So if you're playing and sweat and your hands getting wet, you know, you'll you'll kind of just glide over the, the neck, which is really nice. Well, like yeah. you said, man, you spent a lot of time making some real in-depth, detail-oriented videos on the 17 different models we have yeah. coming out when it comes to the Ventera line. And remember, for our annual Fender Play subscribers, you guys get 10% off of any gear, including all mm. these new guitars. So check out those videos. If you're not a subscriber, take advantage of that discount. And I just want to give it up to you for coming through, man. I got to do more research on all these oh, guys. Yeah. Thank you for making uh, it a voice. Thanks. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I just, just came in from the studio. I'm still wearing the makeup. Yeah, 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 same. It's That's rolling right. over. We look better than usual. <laughs> Thank our makeup people from uh, 9 a.m. this morning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, next up, we're going to be showing you even more from the Ventera models. But first, one of the new models features a Bigsby vibrato system. Mm. Wicked cool. Thanks. To learn a little bit more about our vibrato systems, let's go to Ozzy in the studio. Check it out, you guys. <laughs> I'm Ozzy Carmona, Fender Play instructor and touring musician. Chances are you've probably seen a guitar with a whammy bar on it, but you might not know exactly how it works or what to do with it. There are lots of different types of whammy bars available, but today I'm going to use this one here to show you some fun techniques. First, let's define some of these terms I'm using. The technical term for a whammy bar is a vibrato system. Now, a vibrato is a technique where the player will bend the pitch of a note up or down in order to create some more expressive sounds. Guitarists use this technique a lot just with their fret hand, like so. A vibrato system is a device attached to the guitar's bridge that allows you to add vibrato with your strum hand, like so. You may also hear these referred to as a tremolo arm, though technically tremolo refers to a change in a note's volume rather than pitch, or a rapid reiteration of a given pitch. However, when Leo Fender introduced his vibrato system on the Strat in 1954, he mistakenly called it a tremolo arm. And the name stuck, so using any of these terms is okay. So how does it work? Well, when you press down on the arm here, it loosens the tension of your strings, which in turn drops the pitch of the notes. And when you release the arm, 
the strings return to their original tension and pitch. Here's how that sounds. You can also sometimes pull up on the bar, which increases the string tension and causes the pitch to rise. This particular vibrato system I'm using is known as a Bixby B5. Now, the Bixby was the first commercially successful vibrato arm, and it's now available on the new 60s Ventura Telecaster that I have right here. Let's hear it in action. I'm playing through a Mustang GT100 amp. <laughs> Bixby vibrato systems like this one are often found on hollow body and semi-hollow body guitars, so they tend to be used in country and rockabilly music by players like Brian Setzer and Chet Atkins. Now, if you own a Stratocaster, you'll notice it comes with a different type of vibrato system, known as a synchronized Strat tremolo, which is used in more rock-oriented music, notably by players like Jeff Beck and Eddie Van Halen. All vibrato systems allow for a greater range of expressiveness than you can get with just using your fret hand. They can vary greatly in design, but the general idea is the same. You press the bar, or arm, and the string tension is released and the pitch drops. There are lots of cool techniques you can do with a vibrato arm. You can add some slow vibrato for an expressive touch. You can bend into a note. or you can hit the bar for a quick dip in the notes. Fender offers many different types of vibrato systems, so the important thing is to try them out and see what works for you. No matter what you call it, tremolo system, vibrato arm, whammy bar, it's important to make sure your guitar is properly set up and the nut is sufficiently lubricated to avoid any tuning issues. Keep practicing and check out Fender.com for more details. Guys, there it is. Yeah, I think that's my cue to keep this show going. Give it up for, for Ozzy. Thanks so much. Take advantage of that wine. Man. Guys, please welcome my next guest, Robert Davis. Now, Robert, give it up for him. How you doing? Robert How you doing? Blade. How you doing, everybody? Yeah, man. Great to get to know you today, man. You're a session guitarist, you're a touring guitarist. Your credits include Terry Reed, Miss Lauren Hill, Slash, mm. Wadi Wattel, and tons more. Yeah, man. I love your band. I love um, you, man. Yeah, I love man. Fender. It's good to be here. Yeah, yeah. man. Well, yeah. I'm excited because in just our discussion right before we shot, you're about to make a record with Animal Waves, your original project, yeah, man. starting tomorrow. One of my favorite recording studios in LA, that's Steakhouse Studios. Yeah, lots of meat, yeah, lots of grub man. over there. Yeah, yeah Steakhouse yeah. for a reason. So yeah. sink your teeth into it. <laughs> but I know you're probably setting stuff, uh, uh, some stuff up tonight yeah, uh, yeah so thanks for making it a point to swing through and, oh, and help man. us talk about the Ventura series and a lot of the decades we're covering these guitars are stunning and it's an honor to be here so yeah thanks, brother we're yeah, super yeah, happy yeah. to have yeah. you yeah. so today like I said we're looking at the Ventura guitars and we wanted to make sure that we're covering a lot of different decades so that you guys can see there's something out there for everybody now, the great thing about the Ventura series is that they're all modeled after specific decades in the music industry, and it's going to allow you to capture that sound mm -hmm. and the vibe of its time. Yeah. So let's demo some of these on some classic songs of the decades represented. We'll start with uh, a song that you can learn on Fender Play, actually. It's in the 1950s, and perhaps no artist better embodies the early days of rock and roll than Buddy Holly. That's right, man. Come on, Buddy. Yeah, yeah, get us started, man. We'll play a little bit of Not Fade Away.
Woo! Shout out to you, Ozzy. You know, I'll tell you what, one thing I recall is that they got Buddy Holly's name misspelled on his tombstone, but they made sure that his signature guitar, that was a Strat, was etched in there just right. Now this Strat that I'm playing that you were just jamming on, it gives a great, loud, clean sound for these early types of rock and roll tunes. The 50 Strat is that perfect early rock and roll sound when guitar was just taking the stage as a lead, sort of mm -hmm. foreground instrument in the band. And for all you starting guitarists out there, <laughs> let's try that one more time, for all you beginning <laughs> guitarists out there, I can be multi-syllabic if I feel like it. Uh, Not ah, Fade Away is a great sure. song for beginners. We, we Really, I mean, we're embellishing and having some fun feeling it out on these loud strats, but really, at the end of the day, it boils down to three chords. So we challenge you guys to check out that song that's on the Fender Play platform. Accept it. Accept yeah. the challenge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leave you better than when we found you. <laughs> Moving out of the 50s decade, we're making our way to the 60s. Now, I'm going to change guitars because music was getting louder and heavier. Thank you, Charles. We've got a lot of text in here today. So we're going to switch guitars to some of the offsets introduced in the 60s and play a deep purple classic. Hear that? You want to get us started with Hush? You got it, man. Let's try it out. <laughs> There's our offset for you guys. This thing, what a what a winner. Yeah. This thing is a winner. <laughs> right, man. Yeah, yeah. It's like speed dating right now. We just get to try <laughs> as many guitars as are available. Yeah. And, uh, and in this room, which I promise you isn't characterized by central AC, they're staying in tune just fine. Yes, they are. Now, Richie Blackmore was the guitarist for Deep Purple, and at the time he was also a big Strat fan. But the 60s saw the introduction of a lot of these offset Fender guitars, and that's what we have here. That's so, right. so you play a little bit what you were just riffing on that, man. You, you, you know, showcase Rich. Showcase a little bit of that side of the neck for things. Richie, baby. Yeah. Give man. one of these a try. That's all I can say. <laughs> Way to make that Jaguar this, sing. And this thing sings, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what else, guys. Making our way out of the 60s, we're going to try something a little bit fresh. Last but not least, at least what, what we offer so far with the Ventera series, is the 70s. And at this time, thank you, sir, glam rock was getting big. And there's no bigger than the great David Bowie. And uh, along with Hush and the Buddy Holly team we were playing earlier, all of these songs, including this one, are songs that we offer on the Fender Play Learning Platform. So let's check out this 1974 hit, Rebel Rebel. Uh, I'm going to get you to start this one because yeah. it's going to sound pretty bitching. Coming at you, the man. Term. What are you plugging in over here? I know what? you got some Fender, Fender pedals. These new Fender pedals are immaculate. Uh, they're so versatile. There's all these different tones that you can get out of them. Combine them. Do what you want to sleep with them. Do anything you want. Yeah, uh, but the, but the MG tube yours. distortion, the pelt, man, here, here's a little bit of it. Man, what a guitar. This okay, is, what do you got? You got the Strat? This is the 70s, the oversized headstock, right? Is that yeah, what yeah, 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 yeah. Key, some key features, even just aesthetically on the headstocks. That's the easiest way to identify these 70s guitars. Feels like butter, man. Yeah, really man. Good. You got the humbucker Something over here. Else. This is killer. Loving everything we get to do. Hoping you guys are enjoying it as much as we get uh, to play it. So, so yeah, you know, all these songs and techniques, I can't say it enough, you can learn these on Fender Play. So find your own vintage style. We've kind of been bouncing in between the vintage guitars that are really true to spec and then uh, a lot of these modified options mm -hmm. that just give you something new for your modern player. So now, uh, I think we should get to some homework. You've, got, you've gotten a little sample size of everything that we have to offer. Why don't you tell them what these beginners can start sure, off with? Sure, man. You know, at the beginning level, 
Buddy is one of the guys you know, yeah, that, that, yeah. We, that we need to have in our arsenal. So uh, play the riff, not fade away at half speed, and give that a shot. Just you know, clean, open, and, and going for it. Yeah, we got a great lesson. Nikki Stevens is doing that one, so cool. check that one out. Very, very cool, yeah. Um, intermediately, I would say, you know, trying to play the chorus of Hush, you yeah, know, and yeah. just getting that right hand swagger going and totally. enjoying that and not to, not overthinking it, just enjoy it. You know? Totally, yeah. and for all you guys who just heard Robert kill Rebel Rebel, uh, it's a great riff and it's accessible. So, you know, David Bowie, in fact, played it on the recording. So, so if you want to blow our minds, show us a video version of you playing that riff to yeah. Rebel Rebel. Do it. Now, the time you've all been waiting for. Let's get to the moment of the Fender Play giveaway. Now check this out, for those of you who are watching for the first time, every week a Lucky Fender Play subscriber has the chance to win a free piece of gear just for watching the video. If you win, you can choose from a list of guitars, basses, cool. acoustics, amplifiers, and even the smallest instruments we make and offer at the ukuleles. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's only announced on this show, so make sure to tune in. Now without further ado, here is the one and only, Maddie, the bearer of good news. Yeah. Yeah. Alright everybody, this week's winner is, drum roll please. Yeah. Check the link in the description for giveaway details. We'll see you next week. Awesome. Thanks, oh, Maddie. Congrats. Yeah, congrats, awesome. Danielle. Man, these prizes are wild. I only found out like last week that we're giving away guitars and basses. And more power to you guys. Participate. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we got some community shout outs for those of you guys who are a member of our Facebook community. We're going 12,000 plus strong now. The first person I want to acknowledge is Jill Duvall. Jill, um, you developed some wrist issues we heard and had to scale oh, back her practicing a little bit. But pick up where you left off when the time's right. We understand that you're expected to make a full recovery and we can't wait to see you back on the community doing so. Heal up, heal yeah. up, yeah. yeah. And uh, one more shout out, uh, Chris Hawthorne uh, posted a video playing uh, When I Come Around on bass. Oh, and, yeah. uh, there it is. You did it, man. You're the yeah, man, yeah, yeah. you're the guy, you did it. You know what's so yeah. cool? Yeah. I love about our community. I mean, we have we have people actually like swapping gear and accessories, and like one person who lives in Wisconsin changing a pickup uh, with somebody who lives in California. Yeah. When it comes to being a bassist and you want to jam that song with a fellow guitarist, by all means, <laughs> prove it, Anytime. split screen it, yeah, man, take full advantage it. of technology, guys. You want to see it in the flesh. That's right. Um, okay, so we've got some really cool updates. We've got some great additions this week. Uh, speaking of Buddy Holly, we've got the Buddy Holly, or I should say, the Weezer hit Buddy Holly uh, now available. So oh, check cool. that lesson out. That's yeah, really yeah, cool, very, right? Very cool. I'll let you drop the knowledge on this forthcoming oh, yeah. stuff. You, this you, is kind of crazy. You guys got to learn these, man, just because they're staples. You yeah, know? yeah. And it's the, the rock gods gave them to Kurt. So there um, it is. <laughs> Heart Shape Box by Nirvana and Lithium by Nirvana. You got you to check those out. And yeah, get, guys. get on those when you can. Right, a passage yeah. in our rock yeah, path. I'm not right. sure what's in our curriculum as far as our, our rock path yet, but uh, if that's not in there quite yet, seek them out, guys. Uh, we also got Margo Price's Tennessee song, and we also came out with Chris Young's I'm Coming Over. So a lot of great Editions this week. I can't thank our guests enough. John Dreyer, Robert, thank you so much for coming yeah, by. Yeah, my pleasure. So Thanks much for having fun. me. Thank you. So, yeah, I know you got a record coming out, but what else is newsworthy? What else is good, man? Lots of cool stuff. Next uh, month, I'm, I'm running over to London with Terry Reid. Yeah. And we're going to do some BBC stuff. Cool. And we're going to play uh, live at Ronnie Scott's, which yeah. is really cool. And man, then uh, some really cool Bernard Fowler shows. After he gets off tour with the Stones, we're going to do some stuff in New York, which will be really cool. We're going to try to cross paths. With Come on, everything. man. I'm going to see you guys over at the yeah. Steakhouse sooner than you later, gotta too. You got to do it. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, keep practicing, and we'll see you for more next week. Strum that G chord, and we're out. You got it, man.